instead of paying money outside, you are paying it to your own creators. And that's what Zimbabwe did. Zimbabwe did it in a very interesting way because there was no policy. It was just a directive that came from government that said, radio, play 80% Zimbabwe music. And obviously that created a ripple effect, meaning that now people had to produce, the radios and television had to find this content, and immediately revenues were increased, income was generated, artists were created, creating work, and we saw numbers increase in that as well. With our engagement with Malawi, Malawi has a very interesting CMO situation because their CMO is a government institution, meaning that BIPA can also act as a CMO. I'm just putting it out there. Or you can have a government-funded CMO. Uh, that, in a way, protects them, the collection, the funds that are collected, and that remains within the creative industries and uh, meaning that it's funds that can go directly to creators as well.